Right. Okay. Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Dushant Gunawardena. I'm currently working at uh, North Columbia Teaching Hospital. So my presentation today is the injury patterns among patients with self-inflicted cut injuries, which presented to the Accident Service Unit of National Hospital Sri Lanka. So self-inflicted eye injuries have been present since uh, time immemorial. Uh, they are a common presentation to any a &E and accident service unit. They are a significant burden to the healthcare sector. Most of these injuries are done with a non-suicidal intent, but sometimes when things do go wrong, you may end with significant short-term and long-term consequences. So this study was done with the purpose of describing the injury patterns among victims who present with self-inflicted in cut injuries to the accident service unit at National Hospital. It was a cross descriptive cross sectional study conducted over a period of three months, which, and we were able to recruit 137 victims. Uh, the data was obtained via uh, interview administered questionnaire, and whatever other details were lacking were collected via referring to BHT for whatever missing facts. And the data, qualitative and quantitative <coughs> data, were presented accordingly. So going on to the results, uh, this study population of 137 patients, uh, majority were men, which accounted to 75%. Uh, majority had completed their education of the DC or ordinary level examination. Uh, sadly, 40, uh, nearly 45% of the people in the laborers and, when you, and the age distribution, the majority were in the age range 20 to 27, uh, 29 with a mean age of 27. Considering where these injuries took place, most of these injuries took place in the home domestic environment and patients presented within half an hour of the injury. And the precipitating cause, most of these injuries were quite often due to a domestic argument or anger. Uh, when considering the site of injury, most of the injury was in the non-dominant upper limb followed by the abdomen. And the instrument used for most of these injuries were broken pieces of glass followed by knives. Most of the injuries that happened were muscle cuts and most needed surgery. But interestingly, only 80% uh, had no motor sensory deficit uh, following surgical reconstruction. Up to 40% of our patients were under the influence of alcohol at the time of presentation. And uh, mental health issues were present in up to 5% of our population. And out of these 5%, 32% had previous presentations. Sadly, 95% uh, of those who had had a previous episode had not received any mental health assistance or in any assessment of any sort. And during this current presentation, uh, just over 60% were referred to mental health services for further evaluation and uh, assessment. So in conclusion, uh, it seems that most in this study, we, of course, the numbers, if we had more numbers, we may have been able to come to another conclusion. But in this study, we have concluded that majority of these injuries are due to poor coping skills of people. And if we can provide a service, a mental health assessment, as well as a way of helping people manage their anger and their frustration. We might be able to nip things in the bud and prevent these people from presenting, uh, harming themselves and thus presenting to the hospitals. Therefore, we can reduce the burden on the healthcare sector. And at the same time, from the patient's point of view, uh, less injuries means more, uh, they're able to carry on with their own occupations, less problems at home, less domestic violence and so on. Thank you very much.